Okay, so I've made a very, very simple design here um, just to show how to make an interactive PDF in Adobe Acrobat. Um, so I have five pages here. The last page is really just blank, but the four previous pages all have bar at the bottom that's pretty consistent and um, starting with the home or page one. Um, so on page one, I'm just going to set up the first page first. Um, first thing I want to do is go to um, tools, advanced editing, and what I do is click on the show advanced editing toolbar. Now I already have it up here. Um, this is the advanced editing toolbar. Um, so you see some of the tools within the advanced editing toolbar under tools advanced editing. Um, you have the select object tool, article tool, crop tool, link tool, um, sound tool, several other tools there. I'm going to focus right now on the link tool because I'm going to make links within my document and make it interactive. You can also use the sound tool and multimedia tool for example to add um, different effects to your um, PDF document. Um, so first of all I'm going to click on the link tool or the marquee tool. Um, again that's um, link tool it looks like two little links chained together and um, while I'm on that I'm gonna just click and drag over the first button or spot for a button that I made and when I do that it brings a dialog box up now it um, first of all the link type um, that's basically do I want the link to be visible or invisible in other words do I want the box I just drew to be visible or invisible? Since Acrobat's not really a design tool, I usually just leave that as an invisible rectangle. And the highlight style is what the effect's going to be when someone clicks on that button. So what do you want it to do? So there's a few settings here that you can choose from. Um, now I can go to page view, and I'll show you this one first of all. Um, and I'll hit next. And at this point you scroll to the page you want and you can zoom in as far as you want and it will zoom in to whatever page you choose and at whatever view you choose so for example if I choose page one home um, and I want it to zoom in say to right here I zoom to that that focus and hit set link and so it's set now I'm going to go to the next button I'm going to click and drag jump to page two. So around that button, same thing there, I'll set it to invisible rectangle and I'll go to page view and when I hit next it will bring the set link box up and I'll just scroll down to page two that's where I want it to go and I hit set link and it jumps right up back up to page one where I was working to begin with. And I can do the same thing for the next two pages as well. Now another option to do you can um, also open another file if you have another file that you want to open. Um, it w may be in a separate window. It may be in the existing window that you have. You can go to an external website or a web page. And you can also do custom link. So I'm going to do custom link for the page 3 section. And this just gives you a few more options. You see the link type is repeated here. Um, and actions. You can execute a menu item. Um, go to a page view, you can um, open a web link, you, you can do a lot of other things here. This is just a lot more in depth. Um, so I won't choose, go to a page view, that's basically what I did before. Hit add and it's asking me to set the link. So I go down to page 3, I just scroll down to page 3, hit set link and I hit OK and it's set. Now I'll do the same thing for page 4. Um, I'll choose go to page view, I'll scroll down to page 4, hit set link, and it's set. So all four of those links are set. Now if I go to my advanced editing toolbar again and click on the arrow tool on the advanced editing toolbar, I can select those points. If I want to test them out, I can click on the hand tool in the regular, in the regular menu and click on the the um, links that I have. So I just went up to the hand tool the, or the arrow tool that you usually use in Acrobat and it should jump to those pages. 
Now let me go back to the advanced editing selection tool and I'm going to hold down shift or actually I'll just click and drag. No, that won't work. Okay. Um, I was going to try to select a bunch of th these um, these links, but it won't let me do that. So I'm gonna, just going to select this one. I'm going to go edit, copy. I'm going to scroll down to page two and hit edit, paste. And it pasted that link, and I can just put it in the spot that I want it. I can do the same on page um, three. I'll paste that link and just put it where I want it. Let me go back up to page one. Again, I can copy and go down to page two, and I'll paste. I'll, this is the page. This is the page two um, button. And go to page three, and so you can continue this for every page that you do. Um, and so let me try that out. I'll just go to my hand tool, click on page one. It jumps to page one, um, page two. Page one, go to page three, and back to page one, and you see they work as I have set them up. Now, if I do want to edit these, I can do that. Um, if I just double click on one of these links, just click on it once I'm on the advanced editing selection tool and double click it. Um, you see this same menu came back up so I can change the link type whether it's visible or invisible I can change the highlight style invert outline or inset and I can change the action that it's going to take so for example I'm just going to change this jump to page 4 um, button I'm going to delete what the menu I'm going to delete where I set it to jump to page 4 and I'm just going to go to open a web link when I hit add it would ask me to enter the URL for this link. So um, if I do that, let's just see what happens here. I'll switch back to my hand. If I click on that button, it asks me because I'm going from Adobe Acrobat to another program. It asks me, do I want to do that? Do I want to open an outside program to jump to that link? And I do. So I hit allow and it jumped to that link. So you can see how that works there. Um, and it will open in an another link. So that was uh, open a web link. Um, let's see, you can also um, play a sound if you want, uh, for example, a music to play or something like that. Um, you, you can have a JavaScript settings, um, open a file. You may want to do that if you want to open another um, for example a um, another PDF or another document that's in higher resolution so you can choose your um, file there and it will again open in a no new program if it's a PDF it will open actually in the existing window so you may have to hit a box key or you may have to have it set to open in a new window